Hello, my name is Ni, and welcome to Alobloshi Old Fadama in Accra, Ghana, the location of the most prominent and popular slum within the city. Here I am at the Kokumba Yam Market. This is a tuba of yam, one of Ghana's staple foods tracked down from the north. Due to inadequate storage facilities in the market, the produce can only be kept safe if it's continuously guarded. It is also important that the trucks have a rapid turnaround time if they are to be cost effective. So additional personnel are required for offloading. These criteria created the initial demand for trustworthy labor, which was achieved by bringing people in from the food producing areas. Initially, they slept at the markets, but as it developed and their numbers increased, the need arose for additional accommodation. In addition, the trucks needed mechanics and welders to maintain them, so a servicing market developed. One thing led to the other, till now the slum, which houses over 60,000 people. The continued stay of the residents in this area has made it impossible for the Kole Lagoon reclamation exercise which is expected to breathe life back into the dead Odor River to be completed. This project should have been completed about two, three years ago. But because of the, the presence of the squatters, it has not yet been completed. The people, the contractors need assets. They need to collect the uh, materials in the lagoon and dump them where the people are. But because of their uh, presence there, it's really seriously hampering the project and it's creating a lot of financial burden on the government. This place is a, a flat prone area and the name uh, Fadama means marshy inhabitable area. So from the name itself you can see that it's not really a habitable place for human beings. The conditions there are really hazardous and very inhuman. I mean no decent human being should live under such circumstances. And as I've told you the place, the name Fadama means marshy inhabitable area. So in the first place the place is not really habitable for human beings. But they are there now, and if you go, the conditions are so worsened. We have very poor drainage systems, the water spilling, you know, polluted water all over the place. People living with animals, feces and refuse all over the place. It's really not something to be proud of as a Ghanaian. They have been aware from day one that they shouldn't be there. And in fact, they created the impression that because of the conflict in the north, that's why they came down. And after the conflict, they will move back to where they should normally be living in more decent conditions and what they are currently living under. Uh, the same kind of thing, you know, even some of us lost uh, even your whole parents, your mother, your mom, your everything, your house, and you can't go, you, are you going to sleep outside there? Once someone suggests that you should go back to your home, uh, your home place, where are you going to sleep? You lost your, you lost your, you hold your parents, I mean even your properties, everything. I didn't be being in your house, because mostly, I've been more home, my family, so we're refugees. There is a reason for our current predicament. Refugees even have a place in Ghana. How much more we the citizens? I have lost my entire family and thus have nowhere else than to live here, hustling and trying to provide for myself and children. The conditions are not so pleasant. I mean, the smell, the stench, and everything is so hazardous, and this can lead to a lot of communicable diseases as a result of the pollut uh, polluted environment in which the people are living. So we need to really see, see this as a very serious uh, impact on the living conditions of the people of the city, as well as the storm dwellers. How many workers do you have working under you? I have 23 workers. The workers range from students to graduates, and they work here trying to make some money to support themselves in various ways. 
Others use this place too as a stepping stone into setting up their own businesses. What would be the plight of these 23 workers and yourself in case you were evicted from here? My business would suffer, and I also guess the workers would have to find other means of surviving. Well, the relocation, it will definitely affect us a bit, because we don't know what will happen over there, maybe as new settlement area. That must have a bit effect, but whatever it is, we are welcoming it. If only they can provide us a good, you know, particular area that we can live and do our businesses. To be relocated or forcibly evicted from this community, what can I say? You heard all the views. Even though the people inside here are not necessarily against the idea of relocation. They want a human face to it. It's always nice to be with you. From the slums of Old Padama, also known as Sodom and Gomorrah, this has been me for Amnesty International.